Aquarius, welcome to your 19th to 30 June general reading with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. For those of you that are following my channel, you will know, and I appreciate it if you do. So for those of you that are following my channel, you will know that I promise you a career and finance reading. But unfortunately, I got very, very sick, so I wasn't able to do that for you. Hopefully sometime in future I can do that for you, okay? Remember this reading is general, so please take it as it resonates. We're going to take a look at your recent past energy. We're going to take a look at your present energy. We're going to look at the, take a look at the energy coming your way. Then we're going to clarify it and we're going to end off with a message from the universe. Let's get right into it, my beautiful, beautiful aqua babies. Um... So in the recent past, you got the King of Cups, you got the Hierophant energy, and you got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, um, and that Hierophant energy is like a Taurus energy. It's about value. It's about self-esteem. So maybe some of you, it's almost like you really checked up your game. Maybe all right. Um, but let's just look at this one first, this King of Cups. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love seeing this. Aquarius, you have been on fire. I feel that your your energy, your relationship with yourself, your relationship with the universe, um, it has just gone to that next level. Absolute next level. This is like master level, you know? Um, and one doesn't just get here. You don't just wake up one morning and poof, you are here. Because this is about having a beautiful, harmonious relationship with yourself and the other parts of yourself. And when I speak about the other parts of yourself, I speak about other people, the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, even the fairy kingdom. And so you may have had the experience that it seemed like your life is getting better. Um, things are getting better. Everything is flowing, hunky-dory, beautiful, really great and fantastic. And it's because of the work that you've put in. All right. It doesn't just happen. It's because of the work that you put in. All right, then the recent past. And I can see that you've taken here with the hero fund in numerology, number five is the number of new beginnings. I can see that you have really taken control of your energy, control of your life. Um, you have taken those difficult steps. And you know, this is one of those things when it comes to success. And I always say to people that success is for brave people. You know, give me just one second. All right, Aquarius, sorry about that. So, um, success. Success is for brave people. Success is not for the faint-hearted. Success is for the people that are prepared to put in the work, to put in the time, to put in the energy, to do what needs to be done. To pick themselves off the floor and to say, you know what, I'm going to do this. This is my crown, I'm going to put it on. And when I say putting on your crown, I'm not talking about that flimsy, flippity floppity things that people sometimes have that, oh, I'm a god, oh, I'm a goddess, I'm going to go pick up my crown now. I'm probably talking about actually putting in the work, doing the difficult steps, doing that shadow work, you've done that. And that is why you're on that good flow. Even there with the Queen of Pentacles there in the recent past for you, things have gotten better. And you know what I like? This is, this is really what I like. And this is so much wonderful. Um, so much wonderful, what horrible sentence construction. <laughs> but, um, you know, this is the thing about Aquarius where you say, I just got to change my mind around it. And some of you realize that you can keep on changing your mind around things, but you also really have to get to the core of why it is that you might be having certain things and why you're not having certain things. And once we take those steps, that is when our life begins to change. And I can see that you've done that. You've kind of really sort of gotten a... Um, a very good flow with sort of cause and effect. Love it, love it, love it. Now let's see where that is bringing to you, what that is bringing to you in your current space. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and Eight of Wands. Really, really great. Really, really fantastic. A little bit of red signs that you want to be looking out for here. Okay, so Seven of Pentacles, doing your own thing, um, growing your own stuff, starting your own new thing, Really, really great. Really, really cool. 
fantastic stuff, real cool jazz. However, you want to be mindful of isolating yourself, Aquarius. You want to be mindful of, um, you know, let's say we look at spirituality and we look at, um, you know, we get an understanding of how certain things influence our life and certain companies and those type of things influence our life. We can get to a point where you just say to yourself, you know what, um, all none of this is in relation with my energy. So I'm just going to avoid everything and everyone. And I'm just going to sort of like do my hermit thing over here. The thing to remember is that human beings, same as fish, same as all other crawling and walking animals and um, whatever, birds and whatever, we are communal beings. And when you completely withdraw yourself from being with others, you know, or you become so almost like rigid about it, what you are really doing is you are, um, you are sort of suppressing a natural part about yourself. Okay, We are communal beings. And it means that you have just one or two good friends, that's all good. You know, if you are all spiritual, you are all love and light, you are all about the planets, you are all about cause and effect, it doesn't mean that your friends have to be the same way. I've got friends that are on my vibe, I've got friends that are sort of like on their own sort of vibe. As long as they're sort of positive and, you know, they're not going to be going around talking about other people and that sort of stuff, then we're good, you know, then we're good, all right? Um, Nine of Pentacles. Really excellent time for you to be doing your own thing, to, um, uh, there's a lot of things that come to fruition for you over here. A lot of things that you work really, really hard for. A lot of sacrifices that you make. That positive karma can come back to you so beautifully. But, 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 and this is a huge but. Um, eight of Wands over here. Be careful of overexerting yourself. Don't load your plate so high that the things start chipping at the corners, okay? Too much of a good thing can become a bad thing, all right? Don't give yourself a nervous breakdown from doing too many of a good thing. Remember, at the end of the day, you are a human being and you've got human needs. Right? And we sometimes forget that in the equation of all our spirituality and all our growth, or we maybe do a business and it's doing so well and all of those type of things, we forget that we are human beings with human needs. And that means that sometimes you just gotta go outside and you just gotta have an ice cream and you just gotta chillax a little bit, okay? Let's look at the energy heading your way. Four of Swords, Knight of Wands, and number eight there, Infinity, the strength card, Leo energy, which is all about artistic expression. It's about the ego, the healthy side of the ego. Ego's got such a bad reputation, but ego, Ego is really about what do you want? It's the eternal human quest. What do you want? And you know that whole thing that we get to at a point of, I'm just going to give everything away and I'm not going to want any desires and any needs. I'm just going to be here and just, you know, take it easy breezy. You're going to be bored because the human desire is about getting what you want. And then once you got what you want, you want more and you want more and you want more, you know? You go to the store, you go to the whatever, the coffee shop, and you just wanted to have a cup of cake, a cup of cake, a cup of coffee. Then you get and you say, oh, there's some nice cake over there. And then the waiter asks you, would you like to have ice cream or cream? And then you, someone like me is like, is it possible that you can have both? Maybe how about a bowl of fresh fruit with that, you know? That's how life is about. So you're really going into strength going forward. You're really going into your own strength. You're really going to that next step. There's no need for you to push. Because you're already um, going to that next step. Remember what energy you built momentum. So you've already built momentum in a positive direction. Now you can, sometimes we just need to chillax and just let it all happen. And that's what you want to be doing at the moment. Okay. Um, going forward, I can see your heart opening again. I can see you going for love. I can see you going for friendship. Some of you have got some difficulty with trusting people. And maybe with very good reason. But remember that the person that the crappy things happened to in the past, you are no longer that person. And because you're no longer that person, you no longer have that vibration, which means those things don't come into your life anymore. 
okay lots of beautiful healing growing into your strength coming in over here let's clarify your reading beautiful aquarius so we're going to clarify the king of cups the hierophant and the queen of pentacles they're in the recent past cards coming out for you i saw this one first so i'm going to put that one number one and we're going to grab you another one page of cups nine of wands and nine of swords so for some of you, you, you realize the desires of your heart and you could open yourself to the desires. This is what I'd like to have. This is really what I'd like to have, you know, really going for gold. Um, you realize the healing that you needed to do, maybe a lot of deep inner healing, shadow work, inner child healing, childhood trauma, all of those types of things and you healed them. And then some of you went like, ah, did I do this right? Shouldn't I have done this differently? Didn't I maybe rush things? Okay, so you realize the need, you follow the need, and then some of you started to do the thing that you are so good at, Aquarius, overthinking. Okay. Nonetheless, that's all in the past. So let's not dwindle on the past. Let's look at your current space. So the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and this Eight of Wands. And for that, we've got the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the High Priestess. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. So with the Six of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is that sort of, um, it's, a, it's a moon energy. It's about your deeper needs, your deeper emotions. Um, very much that, you know, what you think about is what you bring about. It's about that realization that as a human being, we are in a continual space of new beginnings. So some of you have been carrying other people and you've been carrying them for long. And, you know, from the goodness of your heart, we do this sometimes. But what we also don't realize sometimes is that when we always carry people and we're always there to rescue them, what we do is we, we might be withholding them from the lessons that they need to learn to go to that next level. And I see that some of you realize that. And I see that some of you feel very bad about it. You feel very guilty about it. Some of you might even be in sort of like situations where, you know, you got to cut the tie, but you don't know how to cut the tie. Remember, as a human being, you are not alone. As a human being, you can always ask for help. All right. As a human being, you're part of a much bigger, broader expression of life. You can ask your angels, your guides, your guardians. You can say, guys, I'm in a little bit of a tight spot down here. I really need some help. Can you help me with that? And then allowing that solution to come through. Okay. So that's the other thing. If you're asking the universe for help, don't then try to dictate the universe and how it must do it. I call it letting God be God. You know, you do your thing, you hand over, and because, you know, you know we have that sort of thing, and, and whatever, it doesn't matter whether you believe in God, Source, Allah, Jehovah, all sorts of like expressions, it's all really the same thing. It's this great power that be, you know. Um, but we, we, we sort of pray to God and say, listen, God, I've got this little bit of a problem. I need some help with it, and this is what I want you to give me. Now we want to dictate God gotta leave that nonsense behind because remember you can only receive to the level that you allow and if you say this is my problem and this is the solution that i want then you're only open to that solution okay god ain't gonna force you that is not his style all right energy going forward um four of ones knight of ones and the eight strength energy but just here in this moment so i want to draw you one more card for your current space but don't try to push life too much Okay, you've got number number seven there, um, the chariot energy. Seven is sort of like a number, it's almost like a reverent number in all religions and practices and the Mayans and all over the place really. It's all about seven, seven main chakras. It's a space where you are ready for new things. So it's not happening yet, but you are ready. So you got to give it some time. Okay, energy heading forward. We're clarifying the four of swords, the knight of ones and the eight card the strength card that leo energy you've got the three of cups you've got the moon energy and you've got the six of wands some of you are concerned that if you move forward what if i don't have friends what if i'm alone what if i you know take all this path i take all these brave steps at least i know what i got now universe is letting you know that there's beautiful people coming into your life beautiful soul family friends becoming family but still here yeah, with this moon energy 
this is a Pisces energy, this moon energy. Um, uh, it's about introspection. It's about dreams. Be careful of what you focus on. You know, and even if you daydream, sometimes we get very lost in our daydreams and we get lost in it in a, almost like a dark sort of way, you know. Um, be mindful of the things that you focus on because your thoughts can take you really up in life or it can take you really down in life. But what you maybe want to focus on is what is being promised here for you with the Six of Wands, which is about victory and success in every way, shape and form. That's what's being promised to you. And if you open to that, Place your hand on your heart, take a nice deep breath, and claim that for yourself. Alright? Let's see what the universe has got for you, my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. And if that reading resonates with you, I'd really appreciate you giving the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate you subscribing to the channel, because it helps the channel to grow, and I really appreciate that. Alright? See what the universe has got for you, Aqua Babies. You say, how dare I just call you Aqua Babies? I don't even know you. Well, I've got my moon in Aquarius, so I'm just going to claim that authority, all right? Four of Wands, like it. Ten of Wands, Two of Cups. Some of you may be open to it. Some of you may not be open to it. Some of you may have asked for it, haven't asked for it. Whatever the case may be, love is in the cards for you. Love, high-level commitment, and this connection helps you to heal from previous connections that might have hurt your heart. There's maybe some scars on your heart still, and you're saying, well, I can't be open to love right now because I still got some scars on your heart. Well, this person is coming in to help you with that. All right. So that's what I got for you. I hope that it helps. If any of you are open to a personal reading, the details are down below in the description. There's also a link for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course. There's a link for my oracle card reading course, which is a free course. Um, there's instructions if you are interested in booking an online regression hypnosis session, which is really what some people call past life regression. All of that down below in the description. And I will see you next time.